Hello everyone, welcome to another University UPDC construction project update. My name is Lou Gett. Today we're going to be taking you through the progress on our new engineering and science building. The last time we were out was in mid-November. This will be our eighth video in the series and today is February 6, 2007. Let's continue in the same location where we have been in our past videos and that is the south elevation. So the progress since the last time we were out here. We can see on the lower level and we'll get a closer look here, the terracotta is being installed. That's the first floor. We can see that the structural glazing or structural glass is completed on this elevation over here. And that would be on the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth floor right through here. The following floor up over the top is the penthouse. The north the elevation is very similar. The first floor glazing is just about complete and the second, third, fourth and fifth very similar to the south elevation are also complete. The only area is where we're looking at the service or freight elevator that brings men and material up through the floors. We're actually watching it travel up. We're on the east elevation and we can see the glass is completed. The structural glass is completed in this elevation through here. Now this section in the middle here, you can actually see towards the glass, this is like an end corridor here. And then to the right and to the left will be corridors that go basically from east to west. So remembering that there's a bank of labs on the north side and there'll be a bank of labs on the south side with a corridor and another corridor. And then the interior will be the service areas for the labs. And that's going to be the, uh, the standard for each floor going forward. It will be the stair tower to the north over here. And again we can see that the terracotta has begun on the first floor outside of this meeting room. We're on the south elevation here and this is a great uh, idea to see how the whole assembly is put together. We'll go over some details in a little bit further. But this is the AVB, the vapor barrier, the membrane that's applied right to the CMU that we saw in previous videos. This is the, uh, the subframing that we see in the back over through here. This is the Roxol insulation that doesn't absorb water, allows it to wick in through here. This is the GERD framing system that's on the sub framing system back there. Call it a GERD system. And again, we have the granite lower, it's called a, almost a water table they call it, the lower band through there. It's a nice straight line that wraps all the way around the building. And then the terracotta is clipped into here around the window trim. This will be for the shade brows, the same thing that we saw up on the upper levels through here. Once they finish with the terracotta up through here, then they'll, they'll work on the soffits. Second floor, we'll take a, we'll do a quick update through here. Again, as I mentioned, this is the corridor through and we were looking at the east elevation. This is how the labs are right now. These are the open concept labs at this stage of the game. The services we had in a previous video. So they've been really working hard and heavy on the mechanicals. The finishes are going to pick up very shortly. We're now on the north side of the second floor. We'll take a peek at this architectural stairway that's going to go here. This will be a grand space. We'll come back to this location as we uh, continue our uh, videos on. So this will have a handrail, glass on the sides. This is an open concept. Second floor here, third floor here. Be a nice view from the third floor down. Let's take a quick peek here at this. This is a mechanical chase. We talk about these all the time, but this just shows you some of the complexity of the mechanicals that are behind these walls. You know, once this shaft wall and this is drywalled, nobody really knows they're even back in there. But again, this is a lab building. Lab buildings are all mechanical systems, many, many mechanical systems, miles and miles of piping. And it all runs through these uh, chases so that they can be rated, fire rated, because they travel from multiple floors. They're actually completely separated from the building, so fire doesn't have a tra chance to travel from one floor to the next. And again, on the second floor of the lab, uh, concept is the same. It's an open concept. 
here to the north as we're looking down in through here. And as I mentioned on the east video earlier, the support areas are in between the north and the south labs. And we take a minute, each one of these floors has these exposed columns. When you look up to the ceiling, you see the fireproofing, the fire spray. All the steel beams are protected with the fireproofing. So what we do for exposed columns, it's a fireproofing paint. It's called intumescent paint. That's why it's a little rough. It's a little alligator. It has a little, little texture to it. But that's intumescent fireproofing paint. And that's the only way that you can fireproof the exposed columns. And I'm on the fifth floor here because I want to take a quick peek. We're at the end of the corridor here. And this is going to be the view space. This is the highest lab area of the building on the fifth floor. So as we walk around here, we're going to go to the conference room, which will be a place that we'll follow along uh, in the future to get a look at. And that'll be this corner glass on the west and north sides here. And it's what we call just framed and they're beginning the rough ends. There's nothing in the walls yet that's coming. You can see the electrician is just getting started here. And this will be the breakout room eventually. You know, kind of the pantry breakout room. And the view, what's well, the view to the central utility plan over through here. And the view to the north. So the south has a view onto the campus. And the north is actually kind of across right from the, uh, the cemetery through here. We're going to take a quick, quick pass through here. Again, this is a lab building. It's all about piping systems and air systems. We're walking by one of the air handlers through here. What we see here, these are the louvers on the north side here. This is going to bring all the fresh air in through here. These giant box air handlers over here are going to service the tempered air into the space. The giant ductwork. And we talked about the shafts a minute ago. This is a duct shaft right over through here that goes down through the multiple floors. Monstrous duct that goes down. And it's in its largest shape here. At each floor it goes down. It can, you know, has the potential to be smaller and smaller as the air gets taken away on each space. This is the top of the uh, piping chase that we looked at down before coming up through and that will end up uh, getting finished and rated. And we'll take a quick peek into the mechanical room. They're just in the process of building a, uh, an exhaust fan room. Basically the building has such an exhaust requirement, it's going to have a special room for the exhaust fans that are going in through here. So it's in the uh, mid stages of rough in. We can see the large ducts that are protected and covered right now. Eventually those will all, all get tied in. Just the magnitude, this duct right here looks to be 50 inches across in through here. Up to the roof, get a chance to take a look at the penetrations that'll be coming out of the exhaust room over here that are temporarily protected. So this is the service area. This is what keeps the building going. Finally, the west elevation here, very similar to the east elevation. The stair tower on the east elevation was on the north. Now over here on the south elevation, the stair tower is right here. And we're seeing the AVB, the vapor barrier onto that. We just left the fifth floor where we were up in the conference room, up in this area, up in through here, and the breakout room up through there. Similar shapes all the way down. Again, today is February 6th. 2017. This is our eighth video in the series of the construction of the new engineering and science. Remember to subscribe to our Yukon UPDC YouTube channel. Once subscribed under subscriptions to the right under the bell a check next to send me all notifications for this channel with a save. This way anytime we add a project or update a project you'll receive an automatic email. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.